Um, hi, my name is Matt. I'm from LA. I'm on a gap year right now. I spent September through December in the Dominican Republic in Costa Rica. Um, wanted to get some exposure to entrepreneurship on this year, so I'm interning at Creative HQ. Shout out to the creative folks here. Um, yeah, so showed up four weeks ago, found out about this on Thursday, figured what the heck, and here I am volunteering. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Charlotte? Awesome. Hi, everybody. My name is Charlotte. I'm a member of the Hat City Youth Council. I'm part of a Body Positivity Trust. Um, and yeah, I'm just thrilled to be here. So, hi. Kia ora, Charlotte. Thank you. Anya? Kia ora. Um, my name is Anya. I am the founder of the Climate Challenge. We run conferences across the country which work to empower young people who might not otherwise have access to leadership opportunities and work on the biggest issue of our generation, um, climate change. So we're in our fourth year um, and it's incredibly exciting. Awesome. Thanks so much for your mahi. So I'm just going to start really simple. Um, I'd love to hear your reflections on this event. Um, would you like to start and we'll go the other way? Yeah, I mean, it's been unbelievable. The networking opportunities alone have been incredible. Thank you to everyone who sat down with me. Um, and the speakers in the workshop workshops have been mind-blowing. I guess the one thing I'd say is that there aren't very many young people in this room. Um, I work with high school students, and I would love to see them here because they would get just as much out of this opportunity as any of you would. Um, so I really hope that that's something that we can work on for future years. Obviously, no shame, but we'd love to see them in this room, yeah. Get older. Yeah, um, well, I live in Trentham. I live like three minutes away from here, and it just blows my mind the amount of inspiring people that are here um, in Trentham. It's just crazy. <laughs> um, neither would have thought. So, yeah, it's been absolutely amazing, and I just love... The people that are here, I love the atmosphere and the energy is just incredible. The wellness space is amazing. Um, yeah, love it. <laughs> For me, it's been just inspiring conversation after inspiring conversation. Um, totally unexpected from a conference. Um, and I think that's great, greatly due to just the atmosphere that you guys create and also a great job by the volunteer team to keep things just casual and open. And I think that's more conducive to being productive and how having helpful conversations and connections and I think like all of you guys have come with that with that great mindset of hey let, let's have a good time and let's do something with it so props to you guys sure you learned that one yet sure 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 sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, so I'm really curious you know so much of this corridor here is around the world that we want to see I'm really, really interested if you three have anything that you'd like to share from the heart about what are you showing up for? You know, when you take a shower in the morning, when you're getting out of bed each day, when you're fighting the fatigue to get out and do your thing, what is it that's motivating you to create that future and what is it that you're working towards? What do you want to see? Um, for me, it would be a world where young people are completely equal. So um, obviously everyone in this room understands the value of young people because you know, we're at a change makers conference and um, most people do. Um, but in society, there's a lot of people who see young people, high school students, you know, um, people just entering the workforce as you know, less capable or um, less able to do this work. And I really want to see a system where you know, politically, socially, economically, young people are valued just as much as anyone else. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned the well-being space here before, uh, and I think it's fantastic, and I want to see that sort, of, that sort of idea put into our education systems and into the, the youth-based organisations that we have, because mental health and well-being is becoming worse and worse with our generation. And I see it so much among my peers, uh, and we need to start doing something about it, and it needs to become the biggest priority because when we're looking at all these massive things that we want to do and this massive future that we have, we need to make sure that the people that are going to be living it have a great sense of well-being and know how to take care of themselves and their mental health and their spiritual health and their social health. And I think we need to make this priority that we're having at the conference we need to just increase it and just continue because it's so important. For me, it comes down to two things. Um, I think the first is 
I think everything about human relations and progress and productivity comes down to empathy. It comes down to being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes and kind of see from their idea, see their point of view. Doesn't disagreement's fine, but that understanding I feel like is the most important part to progress in any form. Um, and the second thing that really just gets me going in the morning is that attitude of, hey, like I can make a difference. I can go and do something. Um, I come from a place in the in Los Angeles where it's such a huge country, such a huge city that a common just idea is that. The problem's too big for me, I can't solve it. What is, what's one person gonna do? And the only way to change that is for every individual to start believing, hey, if I step up, if I take that step, others will too, and that's the best and only way to make a difference. Awesome, thanks team. So I've got a couple more questions for you. Um, I'd like to touch urgency for a second because I feel like so often uh, there's this passionate, fiery feeling of urgency that is more awake in a young body. And so I'm just really curious, what is it that you feel really urgent about? And I'm wondering if there's a challenge that you also might put out to the room today in regards to stepping up to the urgency that you feel. Um, I'm gonna take the, uh, the low flying ball. Um, climate change, obviously, something that I work in um, every day. And I think we all know how big of a problem it is. It's constantly in the news. Um, and I think the real urgency is that um, it's quite hard to act on. Um, I know for me personally, it can be really overwhelming looking at it, and I know that's a feeling that lots of other people have. So um, the urgency is climate change, but the other urgency is supporting people to act on it in a meaningful way, because that's you know something that's been quite slow, um, you know, to progress because we've known about this issue for a long time. Yeah. So climate change, and I guess my call to action is um, have conversations with you know, um, your CEO or a politician you bump into, just talk about climate change, because that's how we're gonna you know, support people to take action on these issues. Cool. Yeah, I think something that's really urgent is that I feel like among teenagers and among our mental health, there's often this shame aspect, and often this thing of you go and talk to someone and they're like, don't worry, it's just hormones, like it'll be fine. <laughs> And that's something that really urgently needs to change because we're not going to get better if you don't first respect us and respect our emotions and our well-being. And I think a way that you can do something about this is just by taking teenagers seriously and taking young people seriously and taking everyone seriously. Because <laughs> um, I'm sure that you're, you're all going to have young people in your lives, whether you're parents or whether you work with young people, and knowing that there is someone that will take what you are saying seriously is so important and just helps so much. So, yeah. Really important for me is the whole environmental climate change thing, especially animals. I love, love animals, and I think that um, a huge part of just our, the diversity of our world and the natural life and all the flora and fauna there is all interconnected and in creating a livable world and enjoyable world for all of us. And that's like, the end of that is coming quick. Um, like we heard yesterday, we're in like this middle of the sixth great extinction. And I mean, it's only fair for all future generations to have access to that. So huge thing. And the other, um, we're all dying. So get out there and do what you want to do. <laughs> Figure it out. Yeah, feel those hormones. <laughs> uh, one more question. I feel like, uh, you know, I, I watch older people around me getting their news from different places that young people get their news from. And I'm really curious to hear if you would have any advice for us as we go out back into the world of where to get information from that, uh, where, like, it's like, where do you go when you want to get organized, when you want to reach out to people, make stuff happen, when you want to find out which events you need to be going to? What does that look like for you? And maybe an invitation for other people to use those resources as well. Um, the really obvious one is Facebook, because a lot of young people are on Facebook, wouldn't you know it? Um, but I guess beyond that, reaching out to organisations and groups that work with young people and talking to them, um, the people in your community who work with your target market of young people or whatever it is, um, and working with them to partner and deliver that news, because you know, if you run um, a very adult business that doesn't look like you interact with young people, young people aren't going to respond to that. So definitely reaching out to people who understand your target market. If you want to talk about climate change and reach out to young people, you hit me up. Um, that's my best advice, yeah. 
Yeah, I completely agree with Anya. Just get in touch with those youth organisations, those youth councils, youth groups, schools. Uh, we're always keen to hear from passionate people. So, yeah. Absolutely. And the way I find anything is really just the internet. I know that's abroad, but Facebook, Instagram, Google searches, and just having like a contact information thing on your website or anything. I think young people especially just love to call up just random numbers or emails or phone numbers. So really, if, if you're on the internet and you kind of make yourself kind of seem user friendly, people will find you. Awesome, awesome. Any last words? Yes, uh, idea I had. So if you guys want to kind of continue this, I was thinking about doing one of the open spaces where we kind of flip the script a little bit. Us young people can be the teacher and then everyone else can come in, we can talk. Golda. So check out that open space board for Matt's session and thank you so, so much. Give them a big round of applause. Thanks everyone.